Hi, my name is Thor Giddings. I'm a senior solutions architect with the AWS team. And in this video, I'll show you how to migrate a legacy Windows Forms app to AppStream 2.0. Let's get started. So let's start by logging into our AWS account. We're gonna to wanna to go in and we're, we want to find the AppStream 2.0 service. Then inside the AppStream 2.0 service, we want to go in to the images section Go to Image Builder, Launch Image Builder. Now for my application, it's pretty small, so I'm gonna use general purpose. So I select the base image for that builder, click Next. You have to give it a name, so I give it a name and a display name. And since this is a fairly small Windows Forms app, I'm just gonna select the smallest instance, which is a general purpose medium. Click Next. Uh, I want default internet access to download my files, and I select the subnet. Click Review, and then Launch. Now it should say that it has successfully launched, and it'll take you back to a screen where it shows that it's in status pending. It'll take a few minutes, but eventually it'll get to status running. Once it does, go ahead and select it and hit Connect. This is going to connect into the AppStream 2.0 uh, image builder. Okay, you wanna select administrator here. So this is gonna build out a desktop so that you can create your image. So I went ahead and I've already uploaded my application setup files into this to save some time. So the first thing I'm gonna go in and do is install my application. So I go into my downloads, I grab my setup files, and I walk through the installer. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you get the application on the machine, so if you don't have an installer, you could copy the files, uh, just as long as you have a working product at the end. So I do the install, and then I make sure that the application actually works. So you'll see it start up here. Okay, there's my simple application, and I'm gonna go ahead, make sure the forms work, and then close out. Now you wanna go to the image assistant. Okay. And in the image assistant, you want to add an app. So find the place where the app is installed, select the executable, and then set the working directory and any launch parameters that you want. So I'm gonna have it set a working directory in the same place where the binaries are. So go ahead and set that working directory and hit save. Okay, now click the next button and it's gonna want you to switch to the template user. So I go hit switch user, and then I hit template user. What the template user is going to do is it's going to allow you to set up the defaults for the application in case if your application has any defaults uh, that you wanna set for the normal user. So now that the template user has launched, you wanna go into image assistant, click on the application, launch the app, make sure that any configuration settings are set, and then hit switch user. Go back in as administrator, and once this launches, you're gonna go ahead and save the settings uh, from that template user. So you hit save settings. It's gonna save, takes a few seconds. Okay, now you wanna switch to the test user. So you click switch user, and then select test user. And what this will do is it will launch the app uh, as an actual test user of the application, giving all the settings you've already entered into the system. So you go into the image assistant and select the application. You wanna make sure that the application works, then go ahead, close it out and hit switch user. Go back to the administrator user and it's gonna connect back in to the console. It takes a couple seconds and then hit next. The next step is to optimize the app. So select the app and hit launch. This is gonna launch the application and make sure that it's optimized for launching. Once the app comes up, click continue and AppStream 2.0 is going to optimize that launching. Then hit next, give the application a name and a display name. Uh, make sure you don't have any spaces in the name. And then hit next. Then go ahead and disconnect and create image. That's gonna put you back in the AWS console. 
Now your image builder is gonna switch from running to snapshotting, and then when it's complete, it's actually going to stop. And you'll know if you have a successful image if you go to the image registry. You'll see your new application listed, and it'll be a status of available. So the next thing you wanna do is create a fleet where your application runs. So go ahead and give the fleet a name and a display name. Click the Next button. Choose your image, which is your application you just created. Hit Next. Select your family of instance. I'm gonna select an always on type of fleet. Uh, you can set your session duration or your disconnect timeout. Um, there's a lot of different settings in there. Uh, then hit Next. Uh, I'm turning off internet access for this and selecting some subnets where it can run. Uh, next, and then hit create, and then acknowledge that this isn't uh, a free service and hit create. And that's gonna start creating the fleet. So you'll have a success message and it should show your fleet when you come back to the screen. It's in status of starting. So it'll go to a status of running in a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward past that part and create the stack. So go ahead and click create stack Give the stack a name and a display name. You can also give it a description, uh, you redirect URL, feedback URL, and hit next. Uh, hit next, next review, and then create. I'm leaving all the default settings. This is a very simple application. Um, and now you're going to see a success message. And finally, you're gonna wanna create a user. So I'm just gonna create myself as a user. So I punch in an email address, my first name, last name, hit create user. This is gonna send me an email saying, hey, you've been invited to use AppStream. Go ahead, click this link and change your password. So I'm gonna do that offline. Next, I'm gonna take my user and I'm gonna associate it to my new stack. So I go in, I find my stack and I assign it. Okay, so in that email, I have the URL to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in so I can test out my application. So I log in and it shows me one application, which is the app we just built. Click on the application. Uh, it'll take a couple seconds for it to actually launch and then you'll see the application. And there it is. Uh, you can go in, you know, see that all the uh, different forms are working and it is now working in AppStream 2.0. Great, so we covered how to migrate a legacy Windows Forms app to AppStream 2.0. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.